Yo guys, it's Chris here, back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about a topic about Forza Horizon 4. Can it be saved? Now, I've seen other YouTubers talk about this, uh, you know, like, what's wrong with the game, how can it be revived and such. Uh, so I'm kind of going to, you know, go off the top, see what I can, uh, you know, think about what, how this game can be saved. Because uh, there sure are issues and such. And the thing is, this video, I saw this from PewDiePie, and... Uh, I think it's a really cool idea since YouTube has the times to or you can adjust the speed of the video uh, this video is going to be edited in half speed so starting at uh, in just a couple seconds uh, you're going to be able to watch this at two times speed and it'll be just like it was a normal video so interesting right uh, so yeah go ahead and do that now Okay, so I'm gonna talk about how this game can be saved. Uh, there's... First off, I mean, I guess we can talk about the issues with the game, because there's a lot of them. I'm actually gonna use this car, because I've never actually used the Ascari, and it's a pretty good car, so... From what I've heard. The thing about this game is... First off... The glitch ruined... A lot of things for a lot of people. For instance, a lot of people now just have every house. And they have every car. And they have nothing to spend their money on. And when this new DLC comes out, they're just gonna, you know, buy the cars, buy everything like that. So, you know, DLC, or the glitch kind of ruined that. The other thing that kind of hurt this game when it came out was... The fact that the engine sounds were not up to par, uh, but they have fixed that, and it, I mean, it's not a huge issue, but it's definitely not like something that should have happened in the fourth game, because Horizon 3 sounds were good, Horizon 2 sounds, etc. Uh, so, it's very interesting how that happened. Also, another way I think this game can be saved is... The reason that... <sighs> we don't have a drag strip that is very... Like, it's not long enough, if that makes sense. Uh, not really a drag strip, but like, a stretch of road. In Horizon 3, we had a huge stretch of road. But this is, it's not straight enough to actually bring a car up to a high amount of speed. I feel like that's an issue the game. And, uh, you know, we're not going to get that in the new DLC, I don't think, but who knows. The biggest issue the entire game is the, uh, team adventure. I really was excited about this until you could finish last every race and be the same rank as the guy that finished first every race. So, I don't do it, and half the time it doesn't even work, to be honest. And, uh... Another thing they, like, made into this game was the Force of Fun Live events. Which are definitely fun, but that can't be your selling point when you say online and such. Y you know, that it's not really 
like that that's a whole new thing about Forza Pun that could have been interesting. I've played like two or three and it just seems like a chore to be honest, the Forza Pun lives do. So I mean I don't really play that, that much. But now we can talk about how the game can actually be saved. We talked about those issues that the game already has. Uh, but like I said, now it's about how can the game be saved. And I've already seen the car uh, sounds being fixed. And this, this car is actually really good. But, I think the second, the thing that can really bring back people is what we're seeing with the Crew 2. How the Demo Derby is kind of bringing back people to the game, if that makes sense. Uh, and so we're going to be getting our uh, Fortune Island coming here eventually next next Thursday and I think that is what may bring people back to this game the DLC needs to come through if it doesn't then I'm not so sure about the future of this game to be honest because you know, it's kind of all banking on Fortune Island. The, the game has really died down on YouTube, really. Uh, you know, we're seeing some of the bigger guys like Jack Ultra Motive. Uh, I know not everything's about the views. I'm certainly not one that's all for views. I'd rather have a community of people. Uh, but, I mean, we've seen Jack Altman have not uh, post on the game anymore a whole lot. Or at least not as much as he used to. AR-12 and Black Panther, I mean, they're not getting the views they used to or anything. And it's kind of sad. The thing is, this game was getting, or the, this game was getting the same amount of feedback, and you know, people watching and people caring about it. At when this launch and where it is now. It's getting about the same as when Forza Horizon 3 was a year old during the Forza Motorsport 7 days. Because I remember I still uploaded Horizon 3 and when uh, Motorsport 7 was going on and I mean, there was plenty of people doing drift events, uh, especially with the whole drift event thing that I did. A lot of people were doing the drift events, and they're doing races and leagues and stuff. And now you look at Forza Horizon 4. I mean, I don't see any of that anymore. I mean, I even did one of my Formula Drifts and it didn't even turn out that great. You know, not a lot of people came through it. So it's almost like this game has lost its community. If that makes sense? I think the players are still definitely there. I mean, this 
I mean, it's an exclusive for the game. A lot of people love it, including me. But you kind of lost the touch with your fan base almost. Uh, especially with the whole car sounds thing. And so bringing this DLC back might get the game, I would say, tr not really trending, but get the game talked about a little bit more as the future of Xbox. Or is the face of Xbox, I should say, because it's a, it's the exclusive game for it. And I honestly think Fortune Island could possibly do that. It's going to be interesting to see if they can, if it pulls through. I think it will, so that's one thing I think they can do. Another thing is the DLC for cars I don't really care for the system. I mean it was what got the game I feel like another interesting part is how the game was still like going and being popular is because they would have these trailers for themed car packs, and we aren't getting those anymore. We only got the themed car pack at the beginning of the year. Now we're just getting the two cars every uh, every week, and every now and then we might get like the hooning and uh, you know stuff like that but we aren't getting what we used to with the DLC cars and the whole themes and all that so I think that's kind of another thing that made you know the game lose a little bit of its uh, focus, if I can say so. Uh, but yeah, the next thing I'm gonna say is the story. And Horizon stories to me, they're okay, but they kind of feel just like Forza Thumb Live. It's just, it's a chore. Almost to, you know, get everything, get it to restart, and then move on to the next chapter. Doesn't feel like I'm actually, you know, playing a story. Like the drifting one, there wasn't really a story to that. It's just you, you got a better car each time sometimes. Uh, but, I mean, the definitely. That was my favorite one, and with Fortune Island, I'm gonna like that too. Uh, so that's interesting. And the biggest thing is the multiplayer. This game is based on multiplayer free roaming. Uh, I don't know people that just play this game for single player. I mean, I don't know anybody like that. But the amount of people that just played this game for the team adventure or even just being in a ranked scenario uh, and the fact that not a lot of, I would say, not a lot of people were doing that anymore because Team Adventure is kind of broken. Like I said earlier, it should be based on skill and not your teammates. And that's just my opinion on it. They can change it, but they haven't said anything about changing it yet. So I don't think it's gonna change. And 
That's like Forza and not having multiplayer. That's just like Call of Duty coming out with just the campaign, in my opinion. So, because there's no reason to play Team Adventure in this game. Uh, I mean, uh, what's your reasoning for playing? I, I'd love to hear in the comments below, why do you play Team Adventure? Because to me it offers nothing. I'd rather just play free room and drive around or, you know, do a challenge with my friend or something. So, yeah. Uh, those are some of the ways this game can be saved. If they do fix Team Adventure, which they won't, but... Yeah, I mean... We've seen them try to do a lot of uh, DLC and stuff. But I just don't think they're on the level with Horizon 3 right now. Horizon 3 had a DLC come out every month, and they had stuff in between that. Uh, you know, we're just now getting our first expansion, which is normal. Uh, a couple of them out in January, so we're getting it a little bit before. It's nice, but like I said, you know, we had a lot more car packs in Horizon 3, so um, that we don't have in Horizon 4 right now, so... Yeah, those are just my opinions. Let me know what you think in the comment below. For everyone, this is Scarry for the last 9 minutes. This is actually really fun, so... Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say, so, peace.